Mr. Vice President, this is a joint statement. We welcome Zimbabwe's active participation in the Universal Periodic Review and acceptance of 168 recommendations out of 264, including several addressing the situation of human rights defenders. Nonetheless, we are concerned by the shrinking civic and democratic space in the country as Zimbabwe prepares for general elections in 2023. There has been an alarming rise in political violence and police brutality around the 2022 by-elections. Peaceful protests and assemblies of human rights defenders, civil society organizations and opposition political activists are being banned and criminalized through selective abuse of restrictive criminal law provisions. Human rights defenders are being subjected to arbitrary arrests, malicious prosecutions and lengthy pretrial detention in maximum security prisons. NGOs are facing ever increasing crackdowns and hate speech by the authorities. The private voluntary organizations amendment bill currently before parliament poses a grave threat to NGO operations. It will require NGOs operating lawfully as trusts and associations to be registered under the act. They will be rendered unlawful upon the passing of the bill as there are no transitional provisions. It imposes harsh civil and criminal penalties for unauthorized charitable fundraising and for operating unregistered organizations. It criminalizes NGOs for so-called political activities and gives the executive excessive powers to interfere in NGO operations. Therefore, we call on Zimbabwe to cease restrictions on peaceful protests and assemblies, repeal restrictive criminal provisions violating free expression, assembly and association, cease issuing denigrating statements against human rights defenders and NGOs, and abandon or amend the private voluntary organizations bill to protect civic space. I thank you.